This is Dixie Dean. He is a legend of English football and a fashion icon. In 1928, he set an incredible record aged just 21 years old. He scored 60 league goals. 60. The game has changed a lot in 96 years. We still have fashion icons at Everton though, but I'm going to attempt to beat this record on Football Manager and I've got a plan. You see, I've made myself manager of Manchester City and using the SorteOutSI.com's updated database, it means that I have Erling Haaland at my disposal and look how good he is. And if there's anybody who can beat Dixie Dean's record, it's gotta be this man, surely. But how are we going to achieve this, you ask? Well, first off, I want to try and see how many goals Haaland can get in a simple 4-2-3-1 preset tactic across the season. I'll simply holiday the whole season with him only in the position selected and change nothing else. And to nobody's surprise, Liverpool won the league, City finished in second place and both clubs face each other in the Champions League final. And I don't really think it's this tactic, I just think this team is too good. But how did our modern day Dixie Dean do? Good Lord, 53 Premier League goals in just 35 appearances. And this is using a preset football manager tactic, remember? Is this even going to be a challenge? Now, doing more research into Dixie Dean, Everton actually won the league that year the record was broken. And in the calendar year, he actually scored 85 goals. So I kind of want to win the league as well, and that means defeating a very overpowered Liverpool team. So let's try this again. And this time, I wanted a tactic that I had created. Enter the Build Bow Rebuild 4-2-3-1. Now, the roles are simple, but the tactic had a lot of instructions all based around creating as many chances as possible for the striker, and everything is aimed at Erlen Haaland. Set pieces, I made sure Haaland stayed up front defending corners for counter-attacks. Also making sure he was the target to aim for the near post and for free kicks, the target at the back post. Even making sure he took direct free kicks where he had the ability to shoot. And I felt like Phil Jackson of the Chicago Bulls in the 90s. If we have the ball, give it to Michael Jordan to score. But our Michael Jordan was this man, a Norwegian destroyer of defences. Now in pre-season, we didn't look too good. Erlen only scored five against a lot poorer opposition than he'll come up against in the Premier League. The first game was also against Norwich, but a clash versus Liverpool was second. Despite playing quite well, Haaland could not score against the worst team in the league. Not a good start. Back to the Etihad though to welcome Liverpool. Salah gave us a gift for Haaland to score his first Premier League goal, but my god what a match this was. Manny was played in through Firmino and made it 1-1, before Salah popped one in to make it 2-1. In the 84th minute, Salah played a 1-2 with Gomez to make it 3-1, but it didn't stop there. A minute later, Foden found Haaland for his second goal of the match. And two minutes after that, Bernardo Silva cut his cross back for Haaland to equalise, still with time remaining. And wouldn't you know it, the high press allowed Bernardo Silva in yet again to pass across to Haaland for his fourth of the game and season. Erlen Haaland has arrived. Brighton next, and Haaland scored from a corner. He then got his second 10 minutes later, followed on to make it a first half hat trick. And he got his fourth in the 63rd minute. In a 7-2 victory, he had now scored eight goals in three games already this season. And with Tottenham Hotspur up next, can he continue this crazy output of goals? You bet he could. Scoring another hat trick, it was as if his teammates knew what he was capable of now. The second, like the first, being played through and smashed into the top corner before the third coming in from another header off of a corner. 11 goals in four games so far and well on to beat the record. My biggest fear was an injury like this when I was testing the database, an injury that would make him miss months worth of games. And given that this was a World Cup year where the games in November and December are bunched into October and towards the end of the season in April and May, injuries are much more likely. Also, I've just realized I didn't have Haaland as a penalty taker, so I need to change that immediately. Only two games in the Premier League this month, so let's blast through them. One goal against Southampton, an incredible pressing and a gorgeous chip against Leeds for his first goal, and two minutes later, he fired in his second. He actually scored a few in the Champions League games too, but ultimately, they don't really count to this record. A big stretch of games in a short time though is coming up next. And it took just three minutes for Chelsea to assist us in this challenge, gifting Haaland another goal. But he still went on and scored a one of his own right after. His name dominated the score sheet in these five matches, scoring 14 goals in five games. Including four goals against Burnley where he completely destroyed the defenders. 
a 23rd minute hat trick and a penalty just on half time to cap his fourth goal of the game. I decided from now on I need to preserve him from the Champions League games to make sure he is always fully fit for the Premier League. So I rested him for a different striker each time. And it paid off because he scored four against West Ham in a 6-4 victory and five in the game right after. Going into the World Cup winter break, he had scored two more against Aston Villa, another from a corner. But he was kept quiet against Manchester United. Now England went on and won the World Cup through two Marcus Rashford's goal, despite finishing second place in their group behind Poland. But Norway never qualified, so the machine could rest. And upon his return, he scored another two goals. Which means that currently in the Premier League, he has scored 41 goals after just 16 games. He literally only needs 19 more goals. He got 12 more during January, including four goals at the Etihad against Arsenal. Two headers from corners, an incredible free kick for the third, and rounding the goalkeeper with his pace for the fourth. This man is literally unstoppable right now. But the most ironic thing about this challenge was that Everton gave us our first loss of the Premier League season in dramatic fashion. Erling Haaland missed a penalty after 10 minutes, but Kevin De Bruyne and Mahrez scored to even up very late. Then the fashion icon Dominic Lewin scored in the 95th minute and got Everton the victory. Dixie Dean would have been smiling down on Goodison Park that day for sure. February started with two more goals away to Leicester as Haaland approached the magic number. Two more goals against Sheffield United and he scored the opener at the Emirates. This was followed by another loss in Merseyside. That truly has been a bad place for Erlen Haaland this year. However, this left Haaland just two goals short of tying the record and 40 goals ahead of second place Salah. Now it's not part of the video, but we did have an incredible youth intake. And can Jacob Riddle beat whatever the record will stand in the future? The 59th goal of the season was a header as was the tie-in 60th goal, just like Dixie Dean. And the record-breaking goal came in the exact same match when the ball was cut back and Erlen Haaland slotted it in with his left foot. 61 goals in just 26 appearances. An incredible achievement from Erlen Haaland. And you could not write it because Everton was the team visiting us in the next game. But it doesn't stop there. How many will he finish on? Well, against Everton, he actually opened the scoring, then popped in a penalty, and of course he took home the match ball with a tap-in for his hat-trick. April was a complete joke of a month. Haaland then scored 14 goals in six matches, including not one, not two, but three hat-tricks. With one month worth of games left, Erlen Haaland has scored 86 goals across the season, and 79 of them come in in the Premier League. Now we've been unlucky avoiding injuries, but it has meant I've rested him for nearly every single non-league game, meaning that we've actually been eliminated from all other competitions. And we have just four games left. So 100 goals is probably unreachable right now. Definitely not with this result. And no goals here either. And I've just noticed that Liverpool could genuinely pip us to the league at this point, rendering this record meaningless to Dixie Deans. And unfortunately, we head over to Old Trafford next. Haaland actually opened the scoring with a gift from United's terrible defence. But of course, Cristiano Ronaldo popped up with an equaliser and that's how the game ended. Liverpool have just two games left and are four points behind us. If we get anything but a win, we can kind of kiss the league goodbye. And both of us are at home to Leeds and Southampton. And Liverpool started off by scoring two goals instantly in nine minutes. But over to the Etihad. Haaland thankfully scored in the 16th minute. And again in the 36th and a penalty. But that was just only three of the eight goals in this game. But thankfully, we managed to pick up the win. And of course in doing so we won the Premier League. Meaning that Erling Haaland's end total of 83 Premier League goals, 90 in total, has meant that Dixie Dean's 92-year-old record of 60 goals has finally been beaten. Thank you very much for watching. Why don't you check out this video right here where we try and win the Ballon d'Or with just a £5 million player.